Okay guys, well, we're doing uh, a spacey score on good old Wild West Rampage, one of Zen's earlier tables. And it's going to be really interesting, right, to see how this table translates in a cabinet view. It's been a while since I've played this, so yeah, it's going to be really interesting. But I'm into the music. I remember it fondly. So let's get cracking and see how she plays. Cracking, huh? Cracking. Like wreck town. <laughs> And what a what a uh, amazing load on the senses, <laughs> the visual senses when you see this table, right? Like, actually looks really good in cabinet mode. And I'm liking the even though I haven't. Played a lot of the flippers. You wow, the last out of me. <laughs> that was my fault. Even though I haven't played these a lot, I like. I already like that sort of design with these oh, other flippers, no, especially with the little one on the side there, aka Adam's sort of family. And we got this big shot up through the middle there too, next oh, to the next to the sheriff badge. That's a nice shot. And the, the physics are a little, oh yeah, that's tough. The physics are a little light, but they're not, they're not bad. They're certainly an improvement from what they were when they were just Zen physics. Just uh, music is actually giving me a bit of a smile on my face, even though it's just sort of going cranking on the background. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Managed to do that twice. Okay, shoot all the barrels. Get out all the barrels. Where's the barrels? Where's the barrels? Oh, they're in the middle. Okay. There's one. Hey! I'll be back. <laughs> you sure you want to stay? Oh, wow. Big smile on my face, guys. Big smile on my face. I'm definitely having another game. <laughs> Tell a town by nice little animation. Ouch. Good for me, bad for them. Howdy, sweetie. I'm Sheriff Evans. Welcome to Rockton Point. <laughs> the name's Cindy. Just Cindy. Oh well, it takes practice. Oh, just missed that that little flipper. Filling up those ramps. I love that little saloon door. And the fact that there's that two shots on either side of that middle shot, which is really nice. And there's still all three of them are long shots. You know, when I was looking at all the tables thinking what should I play next on the series and I was a little reluctant to choose some of the real early games like this one but Even so soon. I'm pleasantly surprised how I'll good this is tired of this. oh well it takes practice 
And I do remember like with the old Zen Sizzix, I think I got bored with this game when I originally played it because it just was too easy. But the balance of the, the ball now and just the, the update, it's not, not perfect physics, um, but it's much better and it's got more of a challenge feel to it now than it ever had. I'm <laughs> really surprised guys I have. I'm actually starting to gush a little here. And you know, unlike Star Wars music guys, you know, this is good music in the background in terms of, you know, suitable for pinball playing. It's somewhat ironic, right? Because this is a complete Zen original, so sometimes Zen should consider that, you know what? Being a bounty hunter, maybe, I was always going after bad guys. Maybe you don't always need the license and try and fit in around a license. Nicely saved. Maybe you just use the, t the sheer talent of your team to build completely unique tables because this is awesome. I was going to try and actually, I'm not even going to shoot up there. I just want to shoot up the middle now. Love the little guns, reminiscent of Cactus Canyon on the slingshots. Oh, damn. <laughs> nice. nice laugh. Nice laugh. This ain't the town you're looking for. Gone quiet again, guys. You know what that means? It means I'm having a good time. <laughs> oh man, and that's satisfying too on that spinner. Yeah, well, I mean, even though the ball moves around really nicely, um, yeah, for the sake of the table, um, if this had that one level of physics higher, it would just really play like, you know, you'd feel like you're playing a, a cabinet that's sister to, to Cactus Canyon. I'm playing again, guys. I know we've already done two games. We normally stop there, but... I want to just get a little bit more time here. Oh, that was wow. close. Got the shoot again though, so that was fortunate. Ah! <laughs> oh, I tilted it. <laughs> Using both of those flippers, and you know, it's good that there's only sort of the two out lanes there, three on the other side. It's a nice, nice mix up. Makes it just a little bit harder on that side there, on the right. Oh, keep forgetting about that little flipper on the way back, wow. You heard the last out of me. Yeah, and again, just that little bit of movement was a bit quick. This ain't the town you're looking for. 
my, my three balls are rapidly depleting, aren't they, guys? Ah, no! Oh, second chance. Oh, Whew. gotta stop walking away when I uh, completely stuff up a shot. Okay, guys, we we need to that 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 finished way way too quickly. <laughs> that was surprising, guys. That was surprising. As I said, I hadn't really looked at this for a long time, and I don't even remember if I played it in cabinet mode in FX3. I must have. But it's a long time ago. All right, guys, let's get into this table and give it some rankings. I'll calm myself a little. Got to be objective here. So theme, um, look, Western themes are always really, really good. And there's no doubt the translation of this. Callouts are really nice. The voice acting's really nice. Um, like, this is one of those ones Zen's actually really got that right on this table. Um, they all felt appropriate and they're all sort of part of the, the theme and the music cranking in the background so yeah it all helps with the theme guys um, is there a better translation of the Western theme it's 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 awesome uh, having the main female protagonist as well is great so I'm giving it a 10 I <laughs> get a 10 on theme perfectly executed looks awesome too with all the art and everything Okay, atmosphere. Uh, yeah, so again, it just makes such a big difference, guys. When you've got some really good call-outs and, and voice acting like that with the sound and the look of the table and everything, um, it does. It pulls in a bit of an atmosphere. Now, it's not it's not one of those real high atmospheric tables um, from that point of view, but it's solid. And you really feel, felt like you're sort of out in the, in the Wild West and giving it an eight. Layout realism. This table is actually really, really nice in terms of layout. It's got some great shots to it as well, and just up through this middle ramp and the length of this table, but then with the, you know, with the side ramps and where these uh, flippers are placed, uh, I love it. I mean, again, if this was this was in a translated into a real pin, that layout would just be awesome. So I'm giving it a ten, guys. It's just a, it's. I wouldn't change it. It's fantastic. Table artwork, very, very nice, right? Love, loving this artwork here. And I mean, we'll talk about the lighting separately. But there's so much going on here in terms of art. And it's it's beautiful. And with the salon and just the, with the wood feeling and it's very, very good. So, I think it deserves, if I just look at it again, oh well, it takes practice. That was I'm giving it a 9, I'm giving the artwork a 9, I was almost going to go for a 10, but no, it's a 9, it's very, very good. Okay, animations, uh, very nice, there's some animations at the start, of course there's those going to be potentially repetitive, but I think in this case, um, is not so bad, the repetitive nature of those particular animations with the train and all that. Um, yeah, everything else, so like, it's always, again, it's, it's hard because you've got these top-down views of things, but, you know, the starting animation and, and the ones that are in there are good. So I'm going to give the, I mean, there's a lot of work that's gone into it, like these little animations, again, that's not part of the main game, but... It serves more than a seven. I'm going to give it an eight. Graphical effects, uh, not a lot actually. Not a lot of actual effects sitting on top of the game. It's sort of a game that doesn't really cry out for amazing sort of effects, to be honest. Um, so what's in there is quite subtle. But yeah, I'd have to, you know, I'm, not, I'm sort of marking it 
mid-range because of the absence of it really um, but I'm not quite sure how much effects you could add on top but yeah I think it's a five for effects because there's not a huge amount of effects in there now with the lighting the lighting is very good again the artwork is very busy and so you know it's a challenge to get this table not to look too flat but just because of the nature of the design of this particular table it just works really really well um, you know so the lighting is good um, and I think it deserves an 8. DMD, uh, yeah DMD again 90s style DMD uh, pretty cool um, I'll be honest and say that I didn't use it a lot though in terms of where I was going and what I was doing in the game I sort of didn't need it everything was sort of lit up and there were so many shots to go for and stuff so I was pretty much focused down on here um, but again it's not a colour DMD uh, you know one of the new ones so that does drop it down of course um, if we're comparing to other tables that do and so it's going to be below a 7 and because I didn't really sort of use it that much and didn't really come to the 4 I'm going to drop it down to a 6 on the DMD music I think is really good I think this music is nice um, I don't know if I really got real big changes from it on the way through that would be the only thing I would make a note of but it's cool music um, I don't think it will get too you know you don't get too sick of it because it's just it's on theme it's on point I'm going to give it an 8 sound effects were cool a lot of tin cans being smacked around when the ball was hitting them all the sound effects seemed like they were integrated with what was going on with the table um, yeah, it was more of a blend, and so it really sort of felt right. Wasn't over the top of like, wow, there's awesome sound effects in this game. So I'm going to give it a seven. Uh, the callouts, as I said, very good, very good for a Zen table. You know, there'll be differences in opinion on, in some of the the, the voice callouts and terms of the actors and the quality of those actors and so forth. But I personally thought that they were very good, and really felt that they fitted the theme, and they certainly weren't grating on me at all so from that point of view I'm going to go pretty high and give it an 8 on callouts flow was awesome absolutely awesome it's a testament to the design of this table and the layout of it um, it flows really nice so no problems there at all given the all the different shots and where you can shoot it's a 10 for me guys on flow shot interest similarly there's so much to do on this table and with the flipper placements with the extra flipper placements of where they are and what you could do with the ball i think i only really scratched the surface uh in relation to shot interest but it's extremely high and i think i am really i'm going to have to give it a 10 as well because it's just got everything in there you don't sort of look at it and go oh, i wish there was other you know, more things to shoot at so it's a 10 there guys challenge was really nice i just detected again a little bit of that physics wasn't quite up to par wasn't quite up at the 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 level of the newest very new tables but it's been translated very well and the challenge is good because of the shot interest because of the layout that brings the challenge up and it was it was hard i was losing balls and i remember that wasn't didn't used to be the case so challenge is great giving it an eight Physics feel, as I said, just drops down from the, the sort of 8, 9. We've, we've had one at 9. Um, it's not an 8 com compared to those other tables. It's a 7. It's pretty close. And it's a, it's a little bit of a shame that like this table would be like yeah, the ultimate table to keep coming back to with just that extra bit of physics, extra bit of weight. Just a little bit more weight to the ball. So yeah, um, it's going to get a 7. Cool, the fun factor, uh, yep, had a smile on my face, uh, had a lot of fun, it's sort of a jovial sort of table too, that's got that sort of feel, so there's a lot of fun in there guys, I'm, I'm, I'm giving it an 8. Um, replayability, well, yeah, this is a, bit of a surprise for me, I, I wasn't thinking, oh, this would be, you know, one of the, the top tables that I'm going to put on if someone comes over and plays Pimple Effects, it's like, well, it's an old table, but yeah. But you know, so us 90s pinball machines, guys. You know, medieval madness. And we keep coming back playing that. Uh, and I'm not saying it's a medieval madness table, but it's right up there in terms of Zen's 
um, you know, efforts in an in, in original game. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked with it. Replayability, definitely gonna come back and play this again. And in fact, there's more than an eight, I'm giving it a nine. And so the space is X Factor. Well, a lot of the other things I've really marked high. Um, and the, really the only bump in, in an X Factor here is really to do with the fact that the whole package comes together in a, in a really nice way. Um, and, you know, I think that, you know, it's, it's got a bit of an X Factor. It's an original table. You know, I, I can't say it enough in relation to Zen not giving up on doing some of their original stuff and not, you know, off the back of licenses. Um, really, really, really good. Um, but yeah, I think it only it's, it's only going to get like a a two for that for the X factor for the bump, just because we've marked it high in all the other areas and those are the, all those areas sort of cover the main aspects of the table, guys. Otherwise, it's just a you know it's like a solid pinball table. This is <laughs> that's what it is. So guys, this is a real surprise. It's definitely up there, of course. And we have the spacey score now. And uh, I don't know, did it actually pip the right up the top? I mean, wow, if it has, we've got up there close. That's incredible um, for such an old table. But again, doesn't matter, guys. Good pimple tables are a good pimple table. Executed really, really well. Well done, Zen. So, guys, uh, yeah, that was a nice surprise to do that as part of all the review of all the Zen original and licensed tables. So, um, yeah, looking forward to doing the next one again. Make sure you comment, provide your thoughts on this table as well down below. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. It helps out the channel, guys. And that's what it's all about. I want to keep pushing out content for you guys as much as I can, while I can. So, uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, ciao for now.